This is going to be a short video on SS Credit 7.1 Heat Island Effect Non Roof for Lee 2009 New Construction and Major Renovation. A quick summary of the credit its intent is to reduce heat islands to minimize impacts on microclimates and human and wildlife habitats. It's worth one point, and there are two options to meet the requirements of this credit. Option one is broken up into five different sub options. I just call them uh, strategies A, B, C, D, and E. For option one, you need to use any combination of the following strategies for 50% of the site hardscapes, and those include any roads, sidewalks, courtyards, and parking lots. For strategy A under option one, you need to provide shade from the existing tree canopy or within five years of landscape installation. The landscaping must be in place at the time of occupancy. So as you can see from this picture, we've got a parking lot that's got a lot of shade trees around that are shading all the hardscape area or a large percentage of the hardscape area. These trees don't need to provide shading of 50% of the parking hardscapes within immediately after they're installed but it needs to be complete or they need to provide that shading within five years of their installation but those trees do need to be in place at the time of occupancy of the building. Strategy B is to provide shade from structures that are covered by solar panels that produce energy used to offset some non-renewable resource use. So as you can see we've got a, a shaded parking structure that is covered, uh, the rooftop is covered with solar panels that are collecting energy from the sun. Strategy C is similar. You need to provide, a, provide shade from an architectural device or structures that have a solar reflective index of at least 29. So just the, the roof of this structure has an SRI of 29 or higher. It's made of some, some material with a high reflective index. Strategy D is to use hardscape material with an SRI of at least 29. So in this case, they're not trying to shade any of the hardscape. They're actually trying to make the hardscape out of a material that has a high reflective index. In this picture, we've got a concrete parking lot and new gray concrete has an SRI of 32 which is uh, higher than 29, so it meets a requirement for this strategy. Finally, we've got strategy E, and it's to use an open grid pavement system. And the that pavement grid needs to be at least 50% pervious. So as you can see from the picture, just a, an example grid, and it's at least 50% pervious. For option two, you need to place a minimum of 50% of the parking spaces under cover. Any roof used to shade or cover this parking area must have an SRI of at least 29, be a vegetative green roof, or be covered by solar panels that produce energy used to offset some non-renewable resource use. So in this photo we've got a parking garage, and the roof of that parking garage is made of uh, light gray concrete, which has an SRI of 32, so it meets the requirements of this. If this parking garage had a green roof, or a roof that was covered with solar panels, it would also meet the requirements quick review of this credit. It's worth one point. There are two options to meet the requirements of it. Option one is to use heat island effect abatement strategies, A, B, C, D, and E in, in this slideshow, for 50% of the side hardscapes. Option two is that 50% of the parking spaces need to be under cover and the roof of that, or the, yeah, the roof of that parking structure must have an SRI of at least 29 or above or be made of a green roof or covered in solar panels. Hopefully you've enjoyed this short video. For more videos on LEED construction, please visit us at www.leadforcontractors.com.